It's a Foster's um, freezer unit. It's like a packaged through the wall unit. There's no cooling. I could actually smell the gas when I got here. And um, gone over it with leak spray. There she blows. Luckily all the gas has leaked out more or less, there's about a pound in there. Um, so we're going to get a recovery machine. So I've got to cut it there, cut it there, make a new one. I'm also going to cut out there and then I'm going to take the condenser out, get my little jet washer and give it a clean because that coil is quite dirty inside. We did clean that about two years ago when I changed that valve, so it's got blocked up again. Right, I've got that made. Um, the other one, this this pipe here went all the way to the end, come in and then come up, and that was too tight a bend for me to do with the spring and what I've got here, so. I've just took a shortcut across to here. It's not going to make any difference, but as long as these come up in roughly the right place. Um, I might put a couple of blobs of braze just to join the two coils together so they don't rub. It originally had these brackets in there that held held it down. Um, and they've obviously uh, long since gone. Uh, I don't know what I've got. I might have something in the van I can make. Uh, it's probably have some rubber blocks that used to sit on as well. Let's see what I've got. That's had a clean. That's our new loop. Joined it there and there. That's joined that back up. Got a dryer on there. It's just a bit big, but that's all I've got. Just got to leak check everything now. Got some nitrogen in there, and then uh, fingers crossed it will work. Back to unplug your loin to plug the back pump in. Brace that together there to stop it rubbing. We found it about 700 and I gave the compressor a shake and it's jumped up. It's just stirred the oil up in the bottom. 